There's a slightly subtle issue with mixing Fortran 90 syntax, array syntax, with non so This is very relevant for C programmers as well, right? So it's, it's typically quoted as a Fortran issue, but it isn't. It's just it's, it's a more subtle issue in Fortran. So, so people say there's a subtle issue, and there is a slightly subtle issue with using Fortran 90 array syntax with non-blocking communications. Fortran 90 array syntax is really, really nice. It allows you to, to, to Fortran treats arrays as first-class objects. You can manipulate them as blocks without 57,004 or do loops. So imagine I did this, allocate buff n, call MPI IS send buff n, and deallocate buff. Okay, so I'm allocating, this is just, I'm allocating a buffer of size n, I'm passing it to a non-blocking send operation, then I'm immediately deallocating it. What's the problem with that? If you read on the... Sorry? Yes, I can potentially delete it before it's sent. So hopefully that's obviously wrong. I've told somebody, please send this sometime in the future, and then I've immediately deleted it. Okay, so that's clearly a bad thing to do. All right? Okay, so, so you could actually get, um, well, what will happen is it will send random data, possibly. I mean, it's not clear what it will do, but it, so. So it's only safe to deallocate the memory after the matching weight. However, nobody would write that, okay? Nobody would write that. Now, this isn't specific to Fortran, though, because imagine this, okay? Sorry. You could, you could do this exactly the same thing in, to using malloc and free. The problem's in a less obvious way. So imagine this, okay? Real dimension MN array, and you want to send a halo, which is just the, uh, the very left-hand um, left column, or left-hand, yeah, up and down bit. So you say, well, David told me about these. David told me that if I want to send all of, if I want to send 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4 all together, they're not contiguous in memory. So I have to define a vector type, okay? And you say, I won't do that. I'll use Fortran array syntax. It's much cleverer. I will do call MPI, I send array of 1, 1 to n, n MPI real. So this just, that, that, that looks fine, okay? The problem is, that's not obviously wrong, the problem is that to implement this, okay, this is a non-contiguous section of the array. So what the compiler actually does, and you don't see it doing this, is it allocates a little contiguous block, copies that data in, passes it to the subroutine, takes it back from the subroutine and copies it back. It implements, potentially, potentially implements non-contiguous sections as copy in, copy out. That is fine for a normal subroutine, okay? but the problem is this subroutine carries on doing something in the background because it's a non-blocking communication. So this code is probably implemented as this. Allocate buff n, buff n is array of 1n, pass buff to is send, when it returns, copy it back, and then deallocate buff. Now this would be fine if this was an s send, or a send, or a b send, okay? All of those would be fine. Because when, the, when, when with a blocking, any blocking communication, the fundamental thing is when the function returns, the communication is completed in the sense that when the function returns, you can alter the data. But in fact, you don't, get, you don't care a monkeys whether the communication is completed or not. That's a bit of a subtle point. All you care about is can I change this data? And when, when, when a blocking routine returns, you can change the data. That's because if it was buffered, it had been copied away. If it's synchronous, it's been delivered. So, I mean, but here with a non-blocking communication, it hasn't been sent. So, for any normal Fortran routine, this is safe, but non-blocking MPI routines aren't normal routines. They operate after the function is called. So, it is not safe to pass Fortran array subsections to any non-blocking MPI operation. And that's true for iReceive as well. Now, you're probably safe for contiguous array subsections. If I'd done call MPI IS send of array of 1 to M, comma 1, the compiler probably notices that that doesn't have to do the copy and probably just passes the pointer like it normally does. But what I recommend is if you think the data is contiguous, don't use Fortran array syntax. You all fat Fortran seventy seven stuff. Just pass the, just pass the pointer. You pass the location. Okay, now that, that'll work. For non contiguous sections, you have a couple of options. You can do the appropriate vector type, and, and I would call it column type here. It's a vertical column, or you can do an explicit copy and then copy out. But the, uh, you may need to think about it a bit. But this 
is not safe because the compiler implements it like this. It's a perfectly reasonable thing for the compiler to do, but the compiler doesn't know that MPIS send doesn't finish when it gets back to you. It's, it's carrying on in the background. Now, everyone says this is a Fortran issue. It's not nothing of the sort. You can do it in C as well, okay? Void my send a float array n, declare a local buffer of size n, copy buff into array, copy array into buff, call an is send of buff and then return, okay? Well, that's wrong because this buff array is local to the function. It's deallocated here automatically by the compiler and this hasn't necessarily completed. However, it just turns out that it, this is slightly obvious, slightly non-obvious. The Fortran one is totally, totally non-obvious. Now, they have fixed this in MPI 3, but I can't, I can't remember what they've done. There's loads of inquiry functions you can check. I can't remember what they've done. It's just a bot. It's just, I mean, just don't do it. I mean, you know, they, they, they fixed it in some complicated way, but really, it's, it's unfortunate, but MPI doesn't mix well with a Fortran 90 array syntax. So, um, so that is why you should use, um, you should learn to use vectors and things because unfortunately you can't use this nice feature of Fortran 